Okay guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial uh, to show you the basics of Hammer Editor. Uh, it will be how to create a skybox, how to create a house with the door that opens uh, in a text box. Alright, okay, so first of all, go into Hammer Editor, create new. What you need to do is use your block tool, which is this one here, create a square on the map. Quite a large square, we're going to use this as a skybox. Okay. Make the box bigger on either side. Zoom in here so we can see it. Okay. Then we go to browse, skybox. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll find the skybox. Press enter. Okay, now use your clamor, camera, sorry, move to the skybox. Now we need to make it hollow. So now we use tools. Bake hollow. I always use number three, it seems pretty good for me. And now we're going. So now we've got our skybox. This is what's going to keep our map secure and stop leaks into the void. So, what we need to do now is we need to create a floor. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a floor. Start this again. Create a floor. Move it down to the bottom. About that thick. Browse. We use grass. Okay, and what that will do is when you press enter, that will fill that box that you've just created with the texture of grass. It will be underneath and above. Okay, so now we've got our grass texture. Now we're going to create a house. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a block on top of the grass. Okay. Move it to the sort of size we want it. Okay, and then we're going to pick a brick texture. Type in brick, B O I C K. Pick any brick texture you like and press enter. There's our block. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make that hollow as well. So tools, make hollow, three again. I mean you can exper uh, experiment with the thickness of the walls if you would like. Uh, now what I tend to do is I tend to go tools, ungroup. That gives me the choice of ungrouping everything here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the top Okay, so that's given us our sort of base platform for our roof. I'm now going to use the clipping tool, which is down here. You can also use Shift X to get the clipping tool. And I'm going to clip away at the roof and make it just a point. Uh, you can hold in Alt to make more smooth movements. And anything in red here, on the left-hand side, what I'm showing you, uh, that's what's going to be deleted when you press Enter. So if I press Enter, that's now made my roof slightly uh, cut. So now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Over here. I'm going to cut up to where that is. Holding Alt again so I can get a more perfect cut. I'm going to press the clipping tool again until we get the red mark on the bit I want to cut away. And then press Enter. So now we have our roof. Not the texture we want it to be. So now we can change the texture very easily using the toggle texture application. You can also press Shift A for this as well. Now I'm going to pick a roof texture. So I'm going to click Browse and I'm going to click Roof. I'm going to type Roof into Filter. Now it's going to get, bring me up loads of textures that I can use for roofs. You can pick anyone you want. Oh, for this, I'm going to pick the slate looking roof. I'll try that again. Pick slate and now I'm going to right click on the texture sides that I want to apply that texture to. Okay. And again, one there. So now I've got my roof. Okay, I've got my hollow house, I've got my roof. Now we need a door. We need to be able to get into here. Best way to do a door, the first thing I suggest doing is creating an info player deathmatch. So what you can use is your entity tool, place an entity on the ground. In objects at the bottom, type info underscore player and then scroll down to deathmatch. 
You can use any one of the ones you want. It's, it's not a problem. Uh, so, create that. Uh, no, I don't need that one. And just lose my obsolete one down there. Okay, so that will now give me the sort of the sort of area I need to cut out for my door to fit my guy through it. What I need to do is lift him slightly off the ground. Now, when you put an info player, you want to lift him just slight, very, very slightly off the ground. Now, I've got very big squares here while I'm trying to make this map. I need it to be a little bit more precise. So what I'm going to go is I'm going to use the left bracket or click up here on the left-hand side and go to smaller grid. What smaller grid does is it puts small, small squares onto your grid so you can move things very, very, very small steps, which is obviously perfect for a lot of detail work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the face I want to cut away, which will be this face. I'm now going to cut away at this face using the clipper tool, and I'm going to match it around the sort of area of where my guy is standing. Straight up. I don't want any part to be deleted, so I'll press the clipping tool again to make both sides white, and I'll press enter. Again, I use the clipping tool on the other side of my guy. Straight up in the air. No sides are red. Uh, the red areas, as I say again, will indicate what is going to be deleted upon pressing enter. Uh, so press the clip it tool again, uh, make it white, press enter. Now I don't want to cut away at these two side faces here because that's just un unnecessary brushes that are going to be used to compile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the middle bit because this is where I want to cut away from. Use the clip it tool again and I'll cut away at the top. I'll press enter. So now I've got the place where my door is going to go. So I'm going to delete that. So now as you can see I've got a hole in my house. He could just walk through that, but I wanted to have a door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy out of the way. He's in the way right now. I'm going to create another entity right here. I press Alt and Enter on him. And I'm going to place a prop door rotating. Okay, and then press Apply. This will bring up a small square. Now what you need to do is you need to go down to World Model, click Browse, and then type in the filter Door. Now there'll be loads of doors you can pick from. You just need to pick one that's going to fit your needs. I'm going to use this one here, but I'm going to use Skin 13. OK, and press OK. And then press Apply. So here's my door. Now you can see my door hasn't quite spawned the way I want it to. So I'm going to use Select Tool. I'm going to move it into the right position. You'll notice that where I've cut out, hasn't precisely met where I need to be for my door. But that's not a problem because we can edit that. All I was saying was basically use the info player deathmatch guide as a rough guide so you don't cut away too much stuff. So what we can do now is we can you can see where the lines are on this door in the wireframe. And we can see where our walls are overlapping right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the select tool. We're going to select our wall. We're going to move it back very slightly. And that's taking it back to exactly where the door meets up. And we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to move it back. But can you see, I moved it slightly too far. So now I want to move it right back over again. So it's just touching the sides. But now I have this problem. I have my my top bit is overlapping. So we'll move that one up. Uh, we'll move it down slightly, just so it meets the top of it. But where I've moved the other two walls, you'll be able to see that they don't quite connect on either side. So you've got to remember to check these little things and edit them accordingly to what you've deleted. I'll move that over, and I'll move this side over again. Okay. So there's our basic house. I mean, you can experiment um, with lots of different things, um, but this is just basically what I wanted to do for now. Okay. So inside we've got... Ah, oh, this is another thing I need to show. I haven't quite spawned the door in the exact place I want it to be sitting. So, as you can see, we've cut around it, we've made, we know it's going to fit, but we just need to move it forward slightly. So, you just drag it forward into the area that you want it to be sitting, using this view and these views to help you do that. Okay, now, I've, now our door's sitting in exactly the correct place we want it to be. But I don't like these textures in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, toggle, te toggle texture application tool again. We're going to browse for, I don't know, you could browse for floor, carpet. I'm going to browse for carpet. I'm going to pick this carpet, I like that one. And then I'm going to look at the uh, 
texture I wanted to do and right click. So now we have a carpet texture on our floor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the walls. I don't like this brick, brick texture so we're going to type in wall or you could type in wallpaper if you have any wallpaper uh, applications. So what we can do is just for the basics of this tutorial we'll select this wallpaper and we'll put that on around the, around the room. Okay. Using the right clicking button to put it in the right place. Now a good thing to remember is to get it all around that door make sure that nothing's left out. Now we don't want to break ceiling so we're going to do exactly the same again. We're going to go browse, we're going to type ceiling and we're going to pick a ceiling. Uh, what do we like? Oh, I like these textures. So we're going to go for this one. And right click there. Now there's our ceiling. Now this looks more like a room you would find in an RP map or in a DM map, maybe. But that's all there for you. Um, guys, this is this is very basic. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials on more, you know, extensive stuff for Hammer, using a lot of triggers, making it do some really cool stuff. But unless you learn the basics, you'll never be able to do what uh, every other mapper is doing at the moment. So I hope you like the tutorial. Uh, please save this video. Um, what I'll do is I'll compile this quickly for you so you can see what it looks like in Hammer. Um, please save the tutorial. We'll be using this for further tutorials um, for things like displacements. Uh, I'll show you how to create windows in the next tutorial. Um, but I'll compile this now so we can see what it looks like. I'll compile and I'll meet you in Hammer. OK, we're in Hammer now, so I'm going to create a server. I named mine just Tutorial. Let's load it up. There we go, we spawned in the game. And you can see there's our house. Take a look around. Just like, this. like I say, this is a very, very basic. Just shows you some of the basic tools you can use. Use our door, door opens, carpet walls, ceiling, all the textures you selected. Here again to close the door. And there we go, you're safe in your room. Uh, please rate um, and subscribe to the tutorials. I will be taking suggestions for, your tutorial, for future tutorials. Um, if anybody also wants to know how to fix their SDK uh, hammer after the Orange Box update, because you might be getting some errors like missing wireframe and you know it's not working, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll be very happy to do a full uh, reinstall of hammer over video so you can have a look. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.